Hey guys, what's going on? This is Unnoske, and this is another episode of Let's Play Brave Friends of Masashi. And today, we're going to be taking care of some things. As you can hear, it's back. The normal theme song is back, so the danger of the Vambies is gone. Now, there's some things we can do right now. Cool. Now I can get into the well. But we'll do those in just a sec. Nah, wait until later. Because there's something else that we need to take care of. I know it's the last thing we need to take care of, but we're just... Just... We're gonna do it in a particular order. Now we came here to this little force inlet here, which I forgot the name of already. In order to activate this water crest. That gives Luna a level up and gives us a treasure chest, which has a odd pair of glasses. Hmm. We'll figure out what that is in just a moment. But first, let's talk to this guy. I haven't talked to him in a while. Howdy! It's been a while! All right, got one, man. It's awesome. Speaking of action figures. Hello. How's it going, young man? Pretty soon we're going to start actually showing off what they look like and what they do. I just don't know how I'm going to incorporate it. But we'll figure that out in a minute. But we figured out that the, the mayor isn't feeling too well, and we'll go and visit him in a little bit. But first, let's take care of this thing at the well. Cool. Now I can get into the well. Because we don't want that rope to just hang there. Better get down there. Otherwise, somebody might try to climb down it themselves. And, well, if Musashi has trouble swimming, I, I imagine everyone else does too. So, we're going to go over here and activate this watercress as well. And this will actually activate a scene which we will see two very strange people. Uh, back to you after the scene's over. Underground in a cave. It w was real heavy. Uh, don't worry, Ed. I'll do the rest. If C Capricola boots us out, we'll have a backup. This golden bell should be worth s s something. Who the heck's Capricola? H who's there? Uh, don't hide from us. Come out. Been here the whole time. Th th that means. Heard everything, pals, but it's too bad, because the bell you were talking about is gone. I returned it to the church. Duh, what? You took our backup for just in case? He's lying. Th that midget can't carry that huge thing. Huh. If you think I'm lying, go and check out the church. Y you you destroyed our future. Imbeciles, you think I care? Uh, who are you calling an imbecile? I'm not an imbecile! W we won't forget this. We, we have some business to do now, but later you'll b b be so s s sorry! <laughs> they sure are good at running away. We'll figure out who, the, who those two are later, but... We got some more stuff to collect here while we're here. There's a treasure chest over here after we activate the water crest. That gives us a pair of that gives us a used boot. Hmm. Could be useful. And there was another treasure chest over here that you might have saw. 
when I was walking over here that we can now access because the water level is risen. Also, don't do this unless you have uh, a destination in mind because you will drown as soon as that thing goes away. Anyway, that thing gave us an old shirt, which might be useful. We'll climb out the rope and stuff going out of the mine because, well, story-wise, it actually makes sense. And we come in right into the middle of the conversation between Mrs. Grange and Mrs. Lands. Sorry, this is the one quest I absolutely hate in this game. It is literally the worst part of the game if you were a kid. If you're when I was a kid, that quest totally ruined my experience in this game. Really did. By the way, here's Tim. Yeah. He has something surprising to tell us. He actually apologizes for being me for being a brat. He says, hey, I'm sorry. Wanna be friends? I'll, I'll accept that. Thanks, Tim. You were all right after all. Yeah, yeah. What do you want? Okay, let's get these things appraised here. We'll, we'll do the glasses class, but let's see about this used boot here. What could it be? A boots! If we had the A gloves, we could complete the set, but nah. A tattered black shirt. Huh. Okay, so what's this shirt do? Oh, it's a piece of legendary armor! This boosts our attack gauge speed by about... Ooh, I'd say... Three times? Alright, we got one more thing to, uh... To appraise here. Oh man, two for one! <laughs> you have L coggles! Now we can appraise items without... Connors. This actually legitimately makes me sad. I like visiting this old guy. I'm gonna go ahead and sell these L boots right now because I really don't want them. Can't really do anything with them either. That's about it. We'll see you later, Connors. Alright, so from now on. Anything we pick up will be appraised, uh, will be appraised instantly. And the L vest will actually, um, will actually increase our charge speed by about that much. Watch. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, where it used to take like two seconds now, it takes only about half. Walked into the toy store here, in order to see Hello. see what's new for sale. Only the cure room and the relic keeper. Pretty cool. All right, so that's all the all the toys for now. We'll get more as the story goes along, you know, as usual. Okay, let's actually go and see the mayor. Because, as I said earlier, he probably isn't feeling too well. Let's see if he's up. No, but his wife is. Mm hmm. Ah, I don't know, man. That's a big responsibility for a. Uh, uh, how old is she? Is thirteen, maybe? I don't know. Behold! Holy crap, Wit is out. We need to talk to him right now. Okay. That's Wit out in the daytime, everybody. Okay, let's actually go accept this thing now. Sure, we'll, we'll do it. Okay, she's gonna ask us to do a couple of things to help out the village. One of them we've actually already done, which was the well. She 
he gives us this message if you actually fix it before you came up here. Which I've actually never seen before, because I never did that. And Musashi removed the rope, and I don't know what he did with it. Explains to her that he saw the thieves. And our next assignment is... Fixing the gondola. Oh, dear lord. I know I'm hyping this up to be a bad thing, but this is actually this was actually truly the bane of my existence when I was younger. Figuring this out. And see, here's another requirement in actually fixing the gondola. You need to rescue all three carpenters, which we've done. Good. That's what I meant by having to rescue at least six people to be in order to beat the game. We can also talk to Wynn, and he'll give us a little bit of information about how to fix this gondola, but that'll be for next time, because dear lord, I don't want to deal with this right now. So, I'm Zonosuke, rather frustrated, and I'll talk to you guys next time.